sometimes you just want to export part of the timeline like I just want to export this section here which is the intro to my video so the way to do that is make sure you haven't got anything selected find the in point for your playhead press I and then go to the end of the clip that you want to export and press O for out and what you'll see is we have this bar going across here with these little handles on it. I'll just move the playhead so you can see it. If you wanted to export a bit more, you could just drag that and it should snap into place. But I just want to export this bit here. One quick little tip I can give you when you're marking in that. I'm going to mark in. Jump to the timeline using the down key. It's just bear in mind, you might need to go back one frame because it's showing the next frame of the next clip. So if I go... One click to the left, that's exactly where I want my export to finish, and I press O. And that way I'm not going to end up with this at the end, because I don't want that in the export. So what I'm going to do now is jump into the Deliver tab. And the important bit you need to check is make sure that Render is set to In Out Range. And then I can just press Add to Render Queue, Render All, and it's just going to export our selection here. And if you want to continue editing and you need to clear the in and out points on this, we just go up to mark. We can go clear in and clear out. And there we go, that's removed those points. So when you go to export the final project, it'll export the entire timeline. Before you go, guys, I've got a free title pack for you from davinciresolvetitles.com. And also check out our DaVinci Resolve Facebook group where I post lots of how-to videos and you can ask me any questions about DaVinci Resolve and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Well that's it from me guys, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe, if you didn't like the video smash that dislike twice and I'll see you on the next one.